Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. In this video, we're going to look at the best credit card bonuses out there in the market on no annual fee cards. Now, the upside to no annual fee cards and their bonuses is the fact that the bonuses are usually easier to hit. You don't have to spend as much in order to achieve the bonus. And of course, the card has no annual fee. The downside to them is the fact that you are not going to get as large of bonuses, not nearly as large of bonuses as you would from cards that have an annual fee. For example, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, as I make this this video, you could get an 80,000 point bonus that could be worth $1,000 worth of travel, at least $800 worth of cash on a $95 annual fee card. That's going to be way more than you're going to get from any of these no annual fee cards. But if you don't want to pay an annual fee and you want to have an easier time getting to that bonus, you are in the right place. All right, so I'm going to clue you in on 20 plus cards here, and we're going to go pretty fast because there are so many that are going to give at least a $200 bonus potential. On the front end here, we're going to look at cards that have a cash bonus, and I'm going to sort of rank them loosely based on how good I think the card is even beyond the bonus because all of the bonuses are going to be exactly $200. Number one, Blue Cash Every Day from American Express, $200 bonus if you spend $2,000 with the card in the first six months of having it. This is a no annual fee card that I like a lot because it gives you 3% cash back in a number of everyday categories. Online shopping being one in particular that I like because of the fact that you cannot easily get that with many other credit cards on the market. Number two, City Custom Cash, $200 bonus if you spend $1,500 in the first six months of having it. This is the no annual fee card that gives you 5% cash back in the category where you spend the most each month, and that is on up to $500 of spending in that highest spend category. Everything else is going to get you 1%. This is a card that I think anyone should think about getting in their wallet, regardless of what other cards you have and what else you may be doing as a credit card reward strategy, because getting 5% back in a core category like groceries, gas, travel, and other things of that nature is always a good thing. Number three, Capital One Saver One card. No annual fee, $200 bonus if you spend at least $500 with the card in the first three months of having it. This is a card that gives you 3% cash back in a number of good everyday categories. It has no foreign transaction fee, so if you use it outside of the United States, no extra charges. So this is a card that I always do recommend if it fits your profile. Next up, Wells Fargo Autograph Visa, $200 bonus if you spend at least $1,000 in the first three months of having it. On an ongoing basis, you've got a lot of 3% percent cash back categories here as well as no foreign transaction fees a pretty nice card next up i'm going to lump together the chase freedom unlimited and the chase freedom flex both of these no annual fee cards offering 200 dollars bonus if you spend at least 500 dollars with the card in the first three months of having them we have talked about the chase freedom cards a million times on this channel so you probably have some idea what they are about but they fit right in there with that 200 dollars bonus Next is the U.S. Bank Cash Plus card, no annual fee, $200 bonus if you spend at least $1,000 in the first 120 days of having this card. This card lets you choose some 5% categories to get cash back in, also some 2% categories, and then everything else gives you 1%. The Wells Fargo Active Cash Visa, no annual fee, $200 bonus if you spend at least $500 in the first three months of having it. This is a card that gives you 2% flat cash back on all of your purchases. Next up, the U.S. Bank Altitude Go, no annual fee. The bonus is $200 if you spend $1,000 with the card in the first 90 days of having it. This is a good sort of multi-purpose card in terms of getting enhanced rewards in a number of categories. The 4% on dining in particular is exciting. Now that's already nine cards where you can get a $200 bonus. Now I'm going to give you eight more and I'm just gonna give them in one big list. I think they're maybe not quite as strong as the cards we just talked about, but all of them are worth taking a look at. You are going to have the FNBO Evergreen Visa with a $200 bonus, the PNC Cash Rewards card, the Bank of America Customized Cash, BMO Harris Cash Back, Navy Federal Credit Union Cash Rewards Card, the Capital One Quicksilver, the Bank of America Unlimited Rewards Card, and the American Express Cash Magnet Card. Many of these card offers are listed on our website on the best bonus page. If you go through our website and apply and are approved, we will get a little reward for your trouble. So if you go that way, I will appreciate it. But if you choose not to, we can still be friends. Now we're going to look at a handful of other cards that offer bonuses that will give you more than $200 worth of value potentially 
but they are going to be travel points or other sorts of points and they're not going to give you that 200 plus in cash back. So the first one of these is the Hilton Honors American Express card. No annual fee. The bonus as I make this video and there are different offers out there, but either 80,000 points or 100,000 points. Those are going to equal in value anywhere from about $320 to $400 in Hilton stays depending on which offer you get. The New Choice Privileges MasterCard with no annual fee has a 60,000 point bonus opportunity. We peg those 60,000 points at being worth about $360 in hotel stays. The choice hotels are a number of different um, hotel brands all under one roof there. A lot of them are going to be your lower priced hotels. So even though those points don't seem like they count for a lot, a lot of these are much cheaper nights in the hotel. So there may be potential for you there. As you'll notice, many of these on the back end here are hotel cards that have no annual fees and decent bonuses. And the next one is no exception. That is the IHG rewards traveler card an 80,000 point bonus opportunity which we peg at being worth anywhere from $250 to $350 in hotel stays within the IHG family. Next the Wyndham rewards earner card another no annual fee hotel card this one has a 30,000 point bonus which sounds like a lot less than the other cards that we have talked about but those cards all give you a lot of points but each point is not worth quite as much in this case those 30,000 points still going to be worth fairly a significant amount anywhere from $240 to $300 in Wyndham hotel stays is the way I peg it. Next up, the Bank of America Travel Rewards card, a 25,000 point bonus opportunity that will be worth $250 worth of travel. And there are other things that you can redeem it for as well, but you won't get that in cash. This is a card that I'm not a huge fan of on a general basis, but a decent bonus on a no annual fee card. The City Rewards Plus card right now has a 25,000 point bonus opportunity that could get you anywhere from 200 to $250 in value in most cases if you go on the cash back end you're going to be more on the uh, 200 side of things if you go with gift cards or some other redemptions you can get that full 250 dollars worth of value finally the marriott bonvoy bold no annual fee you've got a 30,000 point bonus opportunity which could be worth anywhere from around 210 to 270 dollars in marriott hotel stays so that is it you've got a long list of cards with no annual fee like i said at the beginning you're only going to get so high in terms of the bonus that you can get on a no annual fee card, but a lot easier in terms of the spend necessary to get there. Questions, comments, cards I forgot, put them in that comment section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you're not leaving a comment or going to the website, the next video you're gonna wanna watch is right there.